Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is uh, my second Dungeons of Dreadmore tutorial video. In this video I'll be uh, focusing on a wizard class, so let's get started with that. Um, again, like I'm going to play on easy and permadeath is of course on. You're a pussy if you don't have it on. Um, let's see, and um, so I was going to make a wizard and I already made a little selection of skills to get. And uh, this is what I thought. I got uh, staves, staffs, uh, archery for the crossbow, golemancy to create golems. And um, I was thinking of necronomy, but um, well, math magic, math magic is really something that will keep you alive. And I'll rather go for that instead. And also, you don't have any nasty drawbacks, which you do have with. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, so, yeah, let's start. So, this, um, I also have the Lay Walker, which lets me more mana regeneration, which helps uh, as a wizard. Perception to see traps, and uh, alchemy to create some potions. And, uh, yeah, the perception is important. Um, for every character, basically, you want to see traps or deal with them in some way, and there's some skill switch. Yeah, uh, boost that, and that's, that's, those are this one, perception, burglary, smithing, tinkering, maybe archaeology as well, not really sure on that, but yeah, yeah, I'd recommend you at least take one of these uh, with you, so you can see the traps and you don't just walk into them and die on the, on the later levels. Um, so, uh, well, let's just start, and... Um, I have a new charger, well let's call him Golem Duck because I'm going to be trying to focus on golems, uh, annoying things, and here's the start screens again. And uh, yeah, I've done the tutorial. Well, starting off nice with a potion of healing in the first room. And uh, let's look at my stuff, I have a nice uh, coat of tweed, and a golemancer scap, and a nice star stick and a crossbow. Some bolts and a couple of healing items. Uh, and skills I have from Golem and see I can animate this little trap thing, which is horrible, which you can also walk into and hurt yourself. Yeah, which does a damage, which is quite a lot. And um, from Mad Magic, the, the, yeah, the teleport spell. Anyway, let's begin. And, um, Especially as a wizard in the beginning, we really need to watch out. The enemies can be quite tough, especially the first few levels. Oh, these odious oh, puff puffballs. These are nice. Eat them. And you'll get three um, showing items. It'll create a big cloud of poison. And it's uh, nice to have. These mud winds I forgot. And I, that's one. Some clogs! No, that's very fitting. That's Put them on, it's carved from the Duchess of Woods. So. Gotta have some clogs. He's a Dutchman, uh, especially. And here's the loot fish guy. I haven't even gotten any loot uh, fish yet. Loot. Wonder, uh, nah. Loot fish is a real thing, and it's, it's a Norwegian thing or something. Or Swedish, I forgot where it's from. Um, and yeah, I get some items. Some or flippy floppies. That's some, some foot armor. There's so much good armor and weird armor names in this game. Um, and there's my first enemy, couple of enemies like this. I shouldn't act this stupid, but yeah. Um, let's eat because a wizard is pretty weak. Um, yeah. And let's let the blobby go on the mine. It's uh. Having a few mines around uh, and tactically using them against monsters uh, can really help. Um, now, let's try... Hmm, doesn't really work. I want to use my spell, but they're too close. Oh, that's not a teleport. Well, that can also happen when you teleport, so yeah, it's not a guaranteed uh, exit strategy. Well, let's just punk them all over the head. Are, yeah, some of the weakest monsters in the game. 
Um, I really need to gain a level though. Because once I gain a level, I'll be set. Because I will get the golem pet. And oh, there's another Ludwig chair statue. Yeah, there's lots of repeated rooms in the game. Um, okay, let's hit the pet a couple of times. And now the enemies are coming, so let's lay a trap for them. Or two. And try to kill this petty in the meanwhile, and hey, in one turn, both die. Well, that's the best use I've ever had of this, uh, this horrible spell. Um, an enjeweled wooden shield. Well, I'll take that. It's not really good for my wizardry, but... No, it's not even that bad, it's just bad for my dodge. Um, yeah, these icons you show here, the, the blue thingy is magic power, so it's give us one bunch of power. The, the yellow thingy, the second one, is dodge, I think. Uh, yeah, so it moves one dodge, but it has four block chance, one armor absorption, and two... what's that? Um, magic resistance. That's a very nice shield for level one. Um, and this, this starting items were pretty good too. It's, uh, yeah, the manager gets from starting with certain classes, and here's a smith room with a lot of iron. Just what I needed in my previous run as a smith. Oh well. Um, yeah, how about I just use some arrows to hurt these guys before they get too close, because I also took the, um, the, uh, the crossbow skill, yeah. Um, no. Be nice if I got a level, and here is a little room, which usually has some items. It looks to be terrible, but here is actually a ring with a, which has a little bonus. You give me some ethereal resistance, and a sword of glass, which is pretty terrible for my enemy dodge from oh my dexterity so yeah let's not use that um i need to find at first i need to gain level and having a better stuff would be nice too and here is a shop this is brox the shopkeeper uh do not hurt him if you hurt him hell will break loose so be careful around him there's also some buff there's an astrology buff which can do a little damage if you cast it uh, if you're standing next to him and he'll get mad with you so watch out with this guy and of course you can kill him and you loot all the stuff but uh, be prepared because it's not just him he spawns a whole lot of uh, angry uh, debt collectors um anyway Prox here I'm gonna sell him my useless mud when I forgot what it does and the greedy blood scabs makes you a vampire but but I have some money. And is there something nice here? An interdimensional axe. Cake with the putrid blood of demons. Hmm. Um. Nothing really I want, but I can sell him the extra crap I picked up. I really, yeah. Know some of the items, so. My, yeah. By sight now, so I know they're useless, so I'm selling them. But, um. Well, let's keep this for now, and let's move on. Now, 10 minutes in, and hopefully I will reach level 2 soon. The, the experience bar is here, by the way, at the bottom, so it's not that far off, but I should not keep running into dead ends. This whole area is a dead end. Well, that's uh, the way the dungeon works. Let's make the map a little bigger too. Um, well, this should be fine. I just watch this quality of the video and it seems fine. Watch uh, on 720p, it, uh, it's pretty good quality. And why did I try to. Oh, thank you, trap. Also, the batty flies, so it doesn't set up a trap. Oh well. Um, here is a stair down. Let's take a little look. Too. You saw it in the previous video, but this well, it can take care of this diggle. Uh oh. These are double diggles. I'm gonna flee. 
that's something weird what happens with uh, if you're stairs sometimes there's two enemies on the same tile which normally should not happen um, also let's eat this steak and pressing space a couple of times to regen my health okay now the patties and the traps level. Now I can take a skill and my idea was to first go for it, the pet, the, the mustache golem. A very important creature. It's an, a mustache golem, of course. And uh, let's summon him. And here he is, it's a, it's a friendly monster, it's something a monster you can also find later in the game. And he will fight for you. And uh, he'll follow you, it can be terribly annoying. All these monsters, they have horrible AI, uh, the, the pathing is terrible. They'll, so, yeah, uh, they'll walk into traps like that. Um, but, um, they do work, and yeah, the enemies go for them uh, normally too. And, uh, oh, here is a bolt shop, which shall have some bolts of mass destruction, which is like best item in the game. Sometimes you can find these. If you do save them, you're gonna need them for uh, monster zoos. Um, anyway... Oh, here is a lot of enemies. Can I close the door? No, they're already here. Uh, the monster's got him behind me and I'm behind this door. Um, I need to move up on the tile. Go back. The monster's got him here. Let's go back some more. And let's let the golem do all the hard work. Like this. Um, how about I shoot poison on this tile too? Now I just wait. And then this will just walk through the poison. I should help my golem. Um, lots of enemies in this room. Uh, yeah, like this, I'm easily winning. Before I had this, I had not leveled before I entered this room, I'd be dead probably. Because this is way too much for a starting wizard. It's just a simple staff. Um, not, yeah, these are simple enough, I can just bonk them over there. And this takes a while. Maybe I should eat something about this. Chevrolet lost log cheese. So let's start regenerating. Um, come on, Blobby. And there's even more enemies. I'm um, pressing space a couple of times to regen, and um, could have shot them at that time. But my God, let take care of it. Um, well, I'll just help him. And that was that room. Yay. Um, oh, it's one of these kind of rooms. You'll uh, don't recognize them here. There's usually always traps here and here too, basically. Um, here's a staff, which is just as useless as the one I have, I think. Oh, no. It's actually a tad better. Oh, one second. Okay, um, so, there's always traps in the room, and, um, yeah, it's, yeah, you, usually there's also a lot of monsters in the top part, and you just have to wait till they walk out. Uh, my mustache golem is very interested in that enemy over there, but he can't reach it. Well, I've got some bolts, let's kill it from a distance. Okay. Oh, stupid Bobby. You know what? Screw him. Let's say that the monster take care of him. Um, well, I want to investigate here anyway. There's some stairs, some sewer brew, some softballs. Softballs did the very most basic uh, throwing weapon in the game. And there's another store. Uh, this Prax guy. One day you can't find him at all, and then he... He's everywhere. 
Um, these are some nice weapons, some uh, tree prong sword, classic plate mail. She's pretty powerful, actually. And doesn't even cost that much, and um, that doesn't give me a bonus to my sagacity, uh, which is very nice for a wizard like me. Um, spears to no. Ring of Ash, which gives some fire resistance. Uh, no. Oh, also I'm stuck here. But if I am correct, if I press uh, like uh, S on the keyboard, you can switch places. Yes. So instead of using the mouse, you can also use uh, WASD to move around, like I'm doing now. But um, the fun part is normally if you yeah try to move with the mouse to the place where the golem is, you, you attack him. But if you use the keyboard you switch places. So, that means you can't get stuck more anymore, and then if you're stuck in a corner, which happened to me a lot before I found this out, you yeah, you basically have to kill the golem, but uh, now you can just press the right key on the keyboard, and it works. Um, anyway, things are probably going to be slowing down a bit. Maybe I should... Oh, another store with... Well, nothing I really want. Oh, come on. Yeah, these enemies really the uh, guns really want to stand uh, in my way. Um let's use a spell against this one. Um There we go. Oh, walked into my own stupid spell. Um we use the monolith, which is a quest item thingy, uh, if you look at it, uh well, it's a monolith. It glares at you ominously. And, um, oops. Yeah, with the keyboard, you can just walk on time, so be careful with that. You normally with the mouse, you'll get the chance to disarm it or. Yeah, or not. And oh, the mustache golem collapses in a pile of flatulence and red mist. That's a shame. Um, maybe I should summon a new one. A bit stronger. And these enemies are nothing. Come on. Um, we need to eat something. To regen. I'll take an egg. Hey, egg. Um, pick up some more stuff. And yeah. Oh, here's a potion of spatial instability. This is like my teleport spell, and will teleport you if you drink it. And uh, that can be a lifesaver. So, yeah, always keep one around uh, for a uh, rainy day when you're out of mana or something. Um, oh, Inconsequentia, which will try and give me a quest again. Ah, uh, blah, 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 find the artifact. Okay. That's it. Well, there'll probably be uh, some boss monsters spawned with it. Um, let's drop some more deagles over the head. There's these swords. Traps. Um, more inconsequentia. And yeah, how should he with one C2? Uh, blah 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 blah. Kill some enemy, and uh, yeah, OCD we went to cover the entire map. Um, oh well, in and wolf crawl, crawl. I don't have smithing. Um, now well, this stuff is useless, and it's a bit better than the one I had. But now it gives me one extra mana point. Oh well. The thing is, Chrome can bless your, uh, your items and it can also. Holy shit! Uh, <laughs> Chrome can also curse your items. And um, this guy has a Tomite infection and is a level 3 monster. And I will. Yeah, I should not steer and stand near him. Okay, teleport away. Okay. Cast the monster to keep him busy. Um, let me get 
bedding place for a shot at him. Oh, he's poisoned. I think my mustard golem should do the rest. Yeah. A couple of bolts to help him. Oh! And then he <laughs> dissolves into a pile of blobbies. Oh well. Um. Surviving. Buster's going to be in the attack from every side, but oh well, it's an enemy. Um, okay, level up. I could go for unliving wall in the golem masteries, but that just makes one wall. It's just um, and then uh, yeah, yeah, this was the spell you want to get, or the, the later ones. Could go for the curses, which are also very nice for more perception to deal with traps or alchemy staffs. Well, I'm using staffs quite a lot. This will give me a random chance to uh, do a special ability when while attacking. All all the weapon classes have something like this, and let's show you. For the planes I'll have now. Oh, why did Inconsequentia show up for a second there? Oh, that was the end of the quest, I think, and I clicked through it and I got this crossbow, the destroyer of trunks. Which is better than what I have now. Yeah, it's the same type of crossbow, which is, gives a little more block chance, which is nice. Um. This is really going on and going nowhere. How about I just go to level 2? Because I'm strong enough for that now. Oh, there's a Diggle, a range Diggle. That's some her golem buddy. Let's uh, put a bolt in him. Or two. And wait. And then open the chest. Because closed chests act like barriers for monsters and yourself, and um, yeah, and uh, so if you can keep them closed, like, the enemies can't go through it. So can give you a tactical advantage. Here is a one-armed leather jacket, which gives me more caddishness, which is like critical hit chance, but which is nice. But I'd rather have my sagacity. Um. <laughs> Oh, and here is quite a room. Okay, um, let's first try to teleport away. Wrong <laughs> tide. Okay, um, fuck. Try it again. No, I'm going to throw a puffball first here, which makes this whole area a sort of poison area. Then move here. Now we've sort of separated the deal, the deal army. Uh, poison that tile. Um, try and hit this one. Yeah. This one is almost dead. Deagles are going for me instead of the golem. Golem's a bit behind. But Deagles are weak enough to be able to kill him like this with a stick. And he seems to be fleeing. Well, so much for that. Um, some of my nice copper bolts. And well, now for the explanation of level 2. Um, let's see. Starting off. Let's do my blobby do most of the tanking. Ah, uh, my blobby, my mustache golem. And let's kill the zombie. Yeah, like this, the, the golem will keep you safe for a long time. But yeah, later levels it gets really weak. Level 3 or level 4, yeah, it, it starts getting noticeably weaker and you want uh, a better, uh, better pet. 
Um, there's also some other pets. There's uh, the golden tree which has a lot of them. Met. There's also the fire tree. Promethea magic has a, a very good uh, uh, wyvern pet or something. Yeah, little dragon or something. Um, oh, these things by the way are fountains. This is basically a potion. And you get a chance to drink it and you get well, a buff or not. And I got invisibility from this water, which is well, not really what I wanted now. Um, I could use it, but I could also loot. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, I want to loot. And, yeah, this just gets into more exploring and exploring until I go further. You know what? I'll pause the video for a while and I'll uh, turn it on uh, when something interesting happens. Okay, I just had a battle and my golem died and uh, an enraged eagle showed up before my nose. This is terrible. Um, let's try uh, first warping away. That's good. Let's summon my golem buddy. He should be beneath me. You need more mana. I'm out of mana. I already am eating something, so I'll drink some booze, some Merlot. Let's already start regenerating more. Let's take a look, and can I fire at him from here? Yeah, I can. And I need way too much MP to summon another golem. Fuck. But... I, yeah, regen a bit, and now I can take him. Okay. Um, Here's some steel ingot. With steel, you have like two steel, you can also always make an awesome weapon. Um, oh, and yeah, I should go back to normal exploring now. So I'm trying to find a special room, which uh, is pretty notorious in roguelike games. Uh, and, yeah, you really should see it. Um, oh, well, right, right in time for a level up. Um, I think since I need some killing power, I'm going to focus on not magic and get the curse of the golden ratio. Since the golem, yeah, the magic golem will help me for level two. So now I get curses again. Um, okay, well, pausing the video again uh, until I find something. Okay, here's a little something. Here's a uh, uh, level 3 monster, a Jin. Um, they are sort of toughish. Yeah, they are level 3 monsters. They are tougher than uh, the normal level 2 monsters like uh, Electro Broly. And um, I'm just letting my golem take care of him. But he's already dead. You need more mana. And I need more mana. Let's bring some pear wine. Um, Still exploring the level, going a bit uh, about. I still haven't found that room. Could be closed now, I don't know. Oh, didn't want to hear you. Sorry. Also, the, I found out the uh, my staff's ability makes these Talmite infections in enemies. And it also leaves them on the floor sometimes, and you can walk into it yourself, so watch out for that. Um, you, let's curse you. Move out of the way. And uh, bump a bolt on you. And then your friend. Oh, should die now. Okay. Uh, let's switch with the monster. This is a nice tactic for with uh, the the golems. To just uh, have the monster rush to you and Golem show up. Which place the golem even? Hey, level up. Um, let's see. Well, I was going to go to golden ratio again. Now I have some killing power. Okay, now I actually have a means to kill some enemies. Yay, with magic at least. And with a way of just. Awesome it and waiting until they die. You one should be dead now. Uh, yeah. 
And yeah, this spell drops so much gold. It's a really nice beginner. Uh, Math magic in general is a really nice uh, spell list. Um, also astrology. But for now, also oh, I can make some items. I think I got potion maker, and with that I got a portable still. Let's take that out and. With this I can make some of oh, my very own booze and I have some apples and some pears. So I took took, took the, an apple, now the uh, recipes in here, you press autofill, you press distill, the apple gets turned into an, a wonderful hard cider. Um, if I have multiple could do that again. But I can turn this hard cider into applejack. No, not at my level. Yeah, that's level two. But this I can do. And make myself more booze. And this is very important for a wizard. Um, wizards need uh, a lot of booze. It's very important, of course, because, yeah. As you might have guessed, I, the wizards need booze. They. Booze. Boosts. <laughs> booze boosts mana regeneration. Wow. What a sentence. Um, oh, he walked on a trap. That was very nice of him. Let's just wait and do he dies. Still no sign of that room. More death. Just let Golem take care of it and heal the level up. Wait a couple of rounds. More monies. Some emeralds, money. Emeralds here, uh, here there's tons of items and my inventory is very full. Oh, and the golem is being in the way, so I have to use the keyboard. Let's drop some useless stuff, since ropes are the most basic rope in the game. Seen with these hefty stick. They are not worth anything if you sell them to Brock, so... Yeah, when um, inventory management is a big deal with this game, you're, you're always running full. And... Um, well, um, when you just throw stuff to the ground, you just keep the stuff with the most stars. But, uh, the game is yeah, handy enough, gives you a rating system for all the items, so just use that and drop. Uh, if, if you have to drop something, just drop the, drop the thing with the, the least stars. Um, this is a lot of blobbies. I think this one is the leader, too. Let's give the leader a gold curse. And um, my mustache golem is dead, and I don't have enough mana. Let's uh, drink some booze. How about that uh, applejack I made, or whatever the uh, hard cider? And move back a couple of turns. The leader died from the gold poison. Um, 27 MP, which I have now. Waiting until all these monsters die. Wow, these, these blobbies get a lot of turns like this. And that really slows down the game. But, it makes sense. This is the turn based way of this game. There's a whole lot of just walking around and it being very easy. And then suddenly you, you, you don't look out and in a couple of turns you're dead. That's, that's the main killer in these sort of games. At, at least for me. It's, it's usually me being dumb and just forgetting that in that death can kill you even if you're uh, if you've killed twenty of them. Oh, and <laughs> the trap uh, took nice care of him. Still no. Oh, there's Brax again. Um, that's still some of my stuff. And see if I can get something nice. So I'm selling all my axes and swords and stuff I get. Oh god, it was useless. 12 sword mids. Traffic cone too. 12 sword mids. Completely useless to pick up. Um, very stuff is useless too. Small crossbow. But, well, this is all level 1 and level 2 items basically. The, the, the deeper you go in levels, the, the, yeah, the higher chance you find the higher level items. And level 10 is thrown about with the, like, the best items in the game. Um, anyway, let's see, I 
can sell some more of my scrap all to Brags to clear my inventory. And if you're, yeah, especially OCD, you can go pick up every item in the level, then bring it to a, bring it to a shop, and gain a lot of money that way. That's, well, it's all the work, and you can also not do it, I found out. I've been trying to do that. Um, not much up interesting up here, and this is a dead end again. Um, I'm getting a little bit sick of level 2, too. Yeah. Um, well, one more pause to see uh, something I, if I find room. Here is something. Here's a chest of evil. This, um, yeah, that doesn't sound very good and it mostly isn't. I think it has a random chance of spawning an awful monster or giving you a pretty good item. Let's, uh, let's see how, what happens if I open it. I have released this incoming sheer poor bell, the incoming skulls. A uh, very hot pop of animated slime. It's probably a higher level blobby. Fire type or something. Um, and then it's yeah been worked into a boss monster, so it gets extra levels and stuff like that. Um, so for now, I'm going to move out of the way to myself, give him the gold curse, and wait. Yeah. Nothing special in the chest. Nope. The chest of evil, they can yeah, spawn some very nasty monsters. Oh. Like, uh, this one is also a level 3 monster. The machines. Look at the gold curse takes care of me pretty easily. And, yeah, the problem is the gold curse uses a lot of magic. Um, anyway... Yeah, I'll pause the video again. Okay, I found it. <laughs> this is the monster zoo. This is, uh... Basically a room, or a couple of rooms, completely filled with room with monsters. And to mix it up some very strong ones in between them, this is a level 4 or 5 monster or something. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of them. So, uh, let's try and deal with this. I need to start big. It's, oh, I just wasted a uh, sort of poison arrow already, but luckily some... I walked on a trap. Um, do I have any more poison things? No. Zodiacal wand, rock wand. What did the rock wand do again? At least I have the fire wand, and I need to summon my monster. That's somehow my buddy close. Then try out my fiery wand here. Bang on the big explosion. Uh, maybe I'll name. It's just a personal thing. Oh, and it's burned out. Yeah, ones do burn out after a while. Rocky one, let's test this. Uh, is this the wall one or is it the... No, this is the enemy killing one. Or... Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was stupid. Okay, my health is low. There's an enemy in front of me. I'm going to post take a potion for healing. Potions of healing are something you should um, really, really save because uh, they're one of the few things that actually you fill your, your health meter fast. Usually, food items that take a couple of rounds to kick in, but yeah, potions kill heal, heal instantly, and that will save your ass if you use them at the right time. Also, these are way too much enemies, and I don't have anything to attack. Re yeah, to do any area attacks. Um, this is pretty bad. I think I probably should flee. Um, let's try kill some more monsters at least, and make sure I'm eating while doing that. Um, yeah. You kill one monster, another one takes his place, and so you wait till all <laughs> the monsters are dead. And yeah, taking care of a zoo like this can take a while, especially this one, which is quite a big one. Um, it's going so far. 
Alright, so far. Oh, here's an enemy coming with... A special thing, I sh I'm going to flee. Okay, moving up. And out of the way here. Maybe... This style. I should lay down some poison, since the monsters will all try to go through that. And... That will help. Um, now I'm around the corner too. And let's put some more poison to be sure. Oh, don't be spaciated. Uh, also, I need to cast a golem again if I can, so I need more booze or mana. Oh, this guy, captain of the gears. Of gears. This game has sort of the same like name generation scheme of this draw fortress except with that. Uh oh. Holy shit! Nope, there we go. Um, let's try to teleport away. I'm still alive. <laughs> uh, you must die now. No. Teleport away. Well, yeah, he's a boss, that's why he's not dead yet. Okay. Uh, just not enough for the golem. I'd rather have the golem than waste a spell on him. Um, let's wait one turn. Why can't I hit him? It's because of this fucking lamp over here. And the zombie in the way. And I should not get myself attacked by monsters while I'm this weak. Well, I'm, well, I'm about done with this video too, so... Um, first, let's try teleporting one more time, see what happens. Still alive. I really don't want to kill this guy at least. Poison bolt, not enough. Move away. He's following me and yeah. This is probably normally with following it. The enemies will just walk. Um, all the way behind you. Um need to teleport away. Oh shit. Maybe go home here now? <laughs> Not enough mana. No, drink more booze. Oh, don't let swarm on that zombie. There's my friend again, but. Golem time! Save me from the evil monster. And kill him, please. I'm just pushing space a couple of times now. <laughs> He's already almost dead. Oh well. I've had enough of this video too. Uh, you'll probably gain some uh, some insight in how wizards work. And basically, the best tip I can give you is just stay away from enemies. Uh, use bolts, use magic, and drink a lot of booze, and use your skills wisely. And uh, do not get near your enemies. And uh, okay, I thought that was would be it, but there we go. Congratulations, you have died. Okay. Well, that was on purpose, but this video has gone long, on long enough. Um, I hope you learned something about uh, playing a wizard class in uh, in Dungeons of Dreadmore. I probably should have explained more, but you, you saw me play, and it's choosing the spells and choosing the items, and it's all intuitive, sort of. It's probably going to be a very bad video, I guess. <laughs> um, oh well. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed, uh, and uh, see you guys later.